Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics, and we're here today to install the driver station application onto an Android device using the Rev Hardware client. For this process, we're going to need a Windows PC that has the Rev Hardware client installed, our Android device, as well as the appropriate USB cable. So with that, let's get started. To start this process, we're going to need to take our USB cable and plug this into our Windows device, and then also into our Android phone. One of the things you're going to notice is that we have USB debugging is enabled. For this, you're going to need to access the developer options of the device to enable the USB debugging feature. This is different for every manufacturer's phone, so please check the manufacturer's documentation on how to access the developer options. Since we already have USB debugging active on this device, we just need to click on the USB for charging and switch this over to make it where it's available for file transfer. And with that, the device will end up showing up as a connected piece of hardware on the Rev hardware client. From there, we're able to click on the device and then choose whether we're going to install the robot controller application or the driver station application. Since we're going to be using this with a control hub, we're just going to use the driver station application. If you're using an expansion hub with a robot controller phone, you'll need to install the robot controller application. So with this, we're going to go ahead and click the install button for our driver station application. Installation for this app may take a, up to a couple of minutes, but it is usually a little bit quicker than that. Just be patient as it goes through the installation process. Once the driver station application installation is complete, it will auto open on your Android device. The other thing to note is that you can also update from a previous version of the driver station or robot controller application using the Rev Hardware client. If you're using Android Studio, you're going to want to push your updates to your robot controller app through Android Studio and not through the Rev Hardware client. But with that, the driver station is installed and on this device, and we're ready to go ahead and get this configured and use it with our robot.